Hi friends, in this session we are going to learn how to generate unique random numbers. So we are going to generate 90 unique numbers and we are going to print it in a proper format which looks like 6 Tombola tickets, Tombola or Housey tickets. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notifications for all the videos and live sessions. Let us dive into the code. Notepad unique.c. I am writing a basic skeleton include stdio.h. Here I am declaring a few variables int i, comma j, comma r of 90 because we are going to take 90 numbers. This is a one dimensional array with 90 elements. So let me write a loop to generate 90 numbers for i equal to 0 i less than 90 i plus plus and I am trying to print it directly initially to show you rand. To use this rand function we need to include std lib.h. So I am saving it and I am compiling gcc unique.c output file unique.exe. Let us execute. So we have generated 90 numbers and I am executing again. I am executing again. So if you see you are getting the same set of numbers each time. So we should not get like that. For that we have to give the seed to the random. So there is another function called srand. For this we have to give some unique number. But how can we get a unique number? So we are taking time of 0. It's nothing but the number of seconds elapsed from the year 1900. For this we have to include time.h. Now let us compile and run it again. I am compiling it. So let me run unique, unique, unique. If you see each time different numbers are getting printed. 7072 here, 7075 here, 7078 here. Now we only need 1 to 90 numbers. right? For that purpose what I am going to do? I am taking the modulus operator which will give the reminder. So if I divide the number with 90, the remainder will be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 until 89. It cannot be 90 or more. So it will be 0 to 89. Instead of that, we need 1 to 90. So I am just adding one number. So now again, let us run and see. So I am compiling again, clearing the screen. Here if you can see numbers between 1 to 90. But again, there will be some duplicates. For example, 3 is here. Again, the 3 is here. Again, the 3 is here. So, like that. So, here and there, the duplicates will be there. We have to remove those duplicates. Let us see how we can do that. So, for that purpose, what we have to do? We should not use the for loop. For loop will run only 90 times if we give like this, right? But we don't know how many times it has to run to generate 90 unique numbers. We should not have any duplicates. Here, I am assigning i equal to 0. Now, instead of for loop, I am taking while i less than 90, here I am removing the for loop and we need to increment the i, right? Before incrementing, we have to compare it. Here we can increment, but if we increment, again it will generate 90 numbers, 0 to 90 and here and there some duplicates will be there. So we have to remove those duplicates. What we have to do? Each time a random number is generated. So here, instead of printing, I am taking it to R of R of i. We declared a one dimensional array with 90 elements. So R of i, that means i is starting with 0 until 89. So 90 numbers, R of 0, R of 1, R of 2 like that. 0 to 89, we will have 90 numbers. But there will be duplicates. So before incrementing this, we have to check whether the random number generated was already generated elsewhere. So only then we have to increment it. Otherwise, we should not increment this. Here, for example, 0 and number got generated is 29. And then the i value will get incremented to 1. And suppose here we are generating the same number. Then what should happen? It should compare till 0. This is the first place, right? 
so till zero it should come back if it is already there then we should not increment this one to two we should keep it here itself so the next number will get generated here itself suppose next number got generated 30 then we are again comparing and there it's not a duplicate then this i should get incremented again suppose here the duplicate number so this is the second one we have to compare this number with the previous two numbers is it equal to 29 no is it equal to 30 yes then we should not increment this then here itself we will generate another number here suppose we are generating 3 so again we are comparing it's not a duplicate number now we will increment it so like that whenever there is a duplicate we should not increment this one whenever there is no duplicate then we should increment and we should compare with i minus 1 if uh, i value is 3 we have to compare till r of 2 so all the previous numbers we have to compare so we have to take another loop to compare it here the i value should get incremented only if there is no duplicates so for that we are checking for i am taking j for j equal to 0 j less than i if i value is 3 we have to compare till r of 2 right so j less than i j plus plus here we have to compare if r of i equal to r of j if this number is matching let us put dupe is equal to 2 here let us take a boolean value bool dupe initially let us take false and for this include standard bool dot h so if anywhere this r of i and r of j is matching dupe is equal to true in the loop we have to increment if not dupe means if it is false only we have to increment this otherwise i value will not get incremented so the current value which is the duplicate value will get replaced with the next value because we are not incrementing the i the same position will store the next number now let us print and see whether the random numbers got generated print up within a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 90 i plus plus print up percentage t's r of i compile here let us initialize the dupe with false each time so before this loop otherwise it will always become true within this loop so within this while loop but out of this for loop let us declare dupe is equal to false and within this loop if it finds a duplicate it will set as duplicate otherwise it will remain false here we can compare dupe is equal to false or not dupe anything is fine i am compiling it again and i am running it so here 90 numbers got generated and if you see there is nowhere there is a duplicate 33 85 59 60 12 32 61 86 74 27 so nowhere we find a duplicate 90 unique numbers got generated and we also printed them now we need to print it in a proper way here i'm taking a block so that we can give some other conditions uh, here let us take uh, instead of uh, 0 to 1 1 to 90 but here the index starts from 0 right i am taking it i minus 1 if it is 1 it will be 0 or of 0 is the first element so here why i am taking i will show you if the remainder of i divided 5 i modulus 5 equal to 0 that means it will be each fifth number if it is a 5 10 15 20 in that case it will be 0 right so after 5 numbers which means it after 5 numbers so let us print this number here so after each five numbers we have to print a new line character yeah let us compile and say then run see each five numbers a new line is getting printed now we have to separate in such a way after 15 numbers let us print a one more new line so that we can see the difference so here i'm copying it after each 15 numbers print one more line so just to show you the difference so let us come compile again here we see it is printing after each five numbers one new line and after 15 numbers one more line 
now let us print in a proper format here i want to take percentage 3d so that it will take three spaces to print the number so here after the number let us print this symbol so that it will separate each number with a standing line so whatever you call it so i'm separating it let's again compile and see so here if you see it is taking three spaces for each number so in a proper format and it is also printing this separator so that you can see in a proper format now instead of this new line each time let us print a line of dashes let us calculate how many dashes are required so here you have to take three this one is four and this one is five so five 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 twenty five and let us also print one more before separator so that 26 dots we will take here before the loop let us print one separator so let us compare and see i'm compiling it i'm running it let us give a new line also here and let us compile and see So here you can see like this for the first time it printed like this but everything looks fine but for all these lines we need this separator not just for the first line here in the output what is missing we need a similar line at the beginning and this standing line before each line right so let us go and see how to do that so let us copy this here i am taking this I am taking 26 characters here and then a new line then this should get printed we can separate it to a separate printf statement so let us go and see so you can see this new line got printed and this one also printed but this one is needed for all the lines except here so let us see how to do that here let us see if i modulus 5 equal to 0 means for each 5 numbers print uh, this symbol let us compile and see again i'm compiling it i'm running it so it is printing properly the only problem here is the last one because after five numbers it is simply printing so after each five numbers it is printing the remainder which 90 is also zero so again here also it is printing here and i modulus 90 not equal to zero all the 90 numbers completed it should not print so not equal let me compile and see compile again so here you can see the proper format right 90 random numbers there is no duplicate anywhere and the numbers are between 1 to 90 only there is no number below 1 and there is no number above 90 and after each five numbers new line is printed after each 15 numbers dashes are printed so we are printing like a six tombola tickets but this is not a complete tombola tickets for tombola tickets you will have nine columns and there are other conditions also please check my other video coding competition for december and try to solve that with this knowledge i want to remind you please subscribe to this channel if you are new or not yet subscribed please do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notifications i also request you to please share it with your friends thank you so much